really nice to uh, be able to spray all day long in the hills and not have to run the machine wide open. You're only running, you know, three quarters of the way open and that engine isn't sitting there screaming all day long. It had plenty of power going up to hills and even loaded, it shifts down on some of our hills, but I can't say it was really underpowered. I feel they made it everything up properly. You know, the, 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 the decisions they used for the, the, the mechanical drive, for the CF transmission, for the power plant they used, and it was all made it nicely. They didn't put too much power in and out of transmission. It just seems like everything flows pretty seamlessly there. You know, so it all works together real it, it well. It works real together real well. Yes, and uh, I, I think the, I think you have a very good co uh, combination of what you have. In, in Whenever it locks up, you've got power there. It's not, it's not, a, not like a hydrostat trying to stall out. It's putting power down on the ground. Those hydrostats, you'll, we've got some pretty steep hills here in our, in our neighborhood on and it'll almost stall out. And you'll wonder if you're gonna get over it, especially if you're full. This one here, you can shift down just like shifting a big truck down and, and put power down and, and don't run out of power. I don't guess I ever had any situations where I felt like it didn't have enough power. Um, seems to be a pretty good balance on what it has. Uh, when you're going up a hill in sixth gear with a full tank, of course it's going to slow down and it'll automatically downshift to fifth or fourth or whatever it needs to do. But uh, there again, I was used to running a row gator and a lot of times you're down to a crawl before you get over a hill there. As far as diesel fuel, there's just absolutely no comparison at all. Uh, in fuel consumption. I never did break it down on a per acre basis, but I had a uh, pretty well a policy of never passing the fuel tank with a row gator, but what I'd pull in and fill up because it never lasted a real long time. On a day's run, you'd better have it full, and if you did a lot of mudding or roading, uh, it would really go through the diesel fuel. And I can tell such a dramatic difference in this one that it has a 100 gallon tank, and, and I never run a day where I even approached needing to fill up. A lot of times I get two days out of the tank. I don't know how much I saved on fuel, but it would be uh, pretty dramatic. The transmission was, is really good with that lockup converter. It, very seldom does it uh, pull down so much that it releases the converter. And it's always locked up. We run third gear just as hard as it'll run. It's about I think it's about 11 to 11 and a half mile an hour. If you're running flat ground, you could probably run fourth gear and slow it down a little bit. But we're running a lot of hills, so it, it takes, it, we use all the 178 or nine horsepower that it's got. We use every ounce of it um, in places. I was kind of complaining to my salesman about it a little bit. As I was running, I got to thinking, you know, that, uh, if I was running my old sprayer, I'd only be running five mile an hour, and here I am complaining about running seven, so maybe I should just slow down and think a little bit. So.